Hi, let's see how we can use a little bit of HTML and CSS to add icons next to our field names. In this use case, we'll take a look at this form that currently doesn't have any icons in it, but after a few modifications, this form is going to turn into this. So let's go to Caspio and let's take a look and see how we can use some HTML and CSS to modify the form. So back inside Caspio, here are my two forms. One currently has the icons and the one underneath that doesn't have the icons. So let's go ahead and edit the one without the icons. Let's navigate to the configuration screen. And the first thing that you want to do is insert a header and footer. Inside the header section, go into the advanced tab and disable the HTML editor. Go back to the standard tab and go ahead and paste the text. This text will be provided for you in the description of the video, so simply just copy and paste that into the header section of your data page. You can also paste this text in the head of your HTML document if you want to reference the style sheet from there. But all this text is doing is basically pulling the style sheet and it's loading the library that contains all of the icons that we're going to be using in the video. The next thing that you want to do is above every single field that you have, if you have a text field or a drop down, you're going to want to insert an HTML block. And inside this HTML block, we're going to paste a little bit of HTML code that contains some inline CSS. But the first thing that you want to do is go to the advanced tab and disable the HTML editor. Click on the standard tab. And I'm going to paste my text. Again, this text will be provided for you in the description of the video so that you don't have to type it out yourself. But let me explain what this line is doing. Basically, it's giving our div, which happens to be, think of a div like a box that's going to be displayed on your HTML web page. And we're giving this box a background color of light gray. We're putting some padding around the icon. We have the width set to 20 pixels. That's how wide the box is going to be. We want to align our text. In this case, that's going to be the icon, and we want to center that icon. We have the height be 19 pixels, and then we use the margin property to position that box left or right, top to bottom. And finally, we have our icon, and then we have our closing div statement. I recommend going to W3Schools. This is a great website for those who want to learn a little bit of HTML and CSS and some basics, along with SQL, Python. The reason why I love this website so much is they give you the ability to try it yourself. So anything that you like to use or repurpose, you can go to try it now, and then you can play around with the code yourself. But once you find the icon that you like, in this case, I want to find an icon that's most suitable for name, my name field. So I'm going to search for something called user. And I like this icon for my name field. So I'm just going to grab this text, copy it, go back to Caspio, and replace the envelope with that. Now if I hit preview, watch what happens to my submission form. There's my box. We are centering the icon. We have some padding around the icon and we have this light gray background behind the icon. I want to position this right next to my field. So a couple of things that we have to do. The name field, go into the advanced tab and just say no label. And inside the placeholder, type out name. And the second thing that you have to do, go back to the HTML block and simply just say continue next element on the same line. Now when you hit preview, you will see how that field is right next to that box. All you have to do from here is just continue adding more HTML blocks to complete the design of this form. Let me quickly show you how we can do that. Back inside that HTML block in the standard tab, copy that code. We're going to add one more HTML block above the email field, disable the HTML editor, say continue next element on the same line, paste our text, and for the email field, let's look for envelope, and let's grab this icon right over here. So I'm going to copy this text back inside Caspio again and replace this in between the quotes. Go down to your email field in the advanced tab, say no label and use the placeholder to type out email. Now when you hit preview, you will see those two fields lining up correctly. All right, we're almost done. So we have two more fields. I'm going to once again grab my HTML code. We'll insert the HTML block, disable, continue, paste the code. And I already know what my icon name is going to be. I'm just going to type that out as phone. In the phone field, we'll say no label, 
and our placeholder is going to say phone. And we have one more inquiry type. And for this one, it's going to be called question. Inquiry type, advanced tab, no label. And finally, we have the message. And for this one, all I'm going to do is say no label. And in the placeholder, we'll say message. Hit preview. And there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you'll be able to take this knowledge and apply it to your own submission form. Thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. Also, give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. And if you have any suggestions or would like to be able to see something else in these videos, please leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.